hey guys welcome to my channel welcome to today's video it is vlogmas day number four and today i for i have for you guys a home-based nail studio tour and i hope you guys enjoy this video let's get started Okay, so where this is the entrance, it's right next to our front door, so it's really easy access for to the clients. So this side of the studio is all my office. This is where I edit my videos. Sometimes I do some overhead filming there. I also have my planning station there. So this is where I do all the paperwork and payments and everything that relate to like office and that on this side this is also everything related to office i have my printer my cricut and all, all office supplies down there and this is just a little bit of decoration and this light is something moves around a lot i'm using it as regular the basic light in this room because i don't have any light in the ceiling so these lights move around a lot that's why it's just staying here as this light too my ring light moves around a lot i use this to take pictures so these two are just here and that's my table and on this side is more nail related it's all supplies extras that I keep in this little boxes. So I have some like masks, cottons and stuff, and this one is extra containers for like glitters and all that. And this station is my cleaning station. So I don't have any sink here. So what I do is I clean wash all my tools in downstairs bathroom, and then I will bring it to here and I put in this disinfectant uh, sanitation liquid and I would put it, it for 10 minutes and dry it in here and put it into this bag and keep it in here everything that is completely sanitized now these are little supplies that I use I have um, this effective spray to spray all over the um, chairs and tables and everything wipe it down this is the um, anti rust I don't know what is it called I forgot that that's the um, disinfectant solution that you mix it with water and you use to clean your tools and some acetones and stuff like that. Down here, I have all the cotton bits and new uh, buffers and that. And here, I have my client's buffer. I keep my buffer and file. Name it. Put them in this bag and put the name on and save it until they come back so because i use really good quality expensive file you can use this at least 10 times depending on what kind of service you're doing so i don't want to just uh, throw them away just after one use that's why after they leave i put them in new bag put their name on and keep it in this container and when they come back i would reuse those files down here is my like photo taking um, stuff I have my cameras and a bunch of tripods and stuff these are my flowers that I use it for background I do need some winter stuff but this is what I'm just using right now and I have a bunch of backdrop like background papers that I got from Michael so this is like my taking picture station. Now I have all my colors here. So this shelf is from Ikea. I think it was like $17. And you can actually f do two rows. So let's say you, like this one. So you have, let's say you have, you only use this kind of gel. What you can do is you can put something, for example, I just found this from a packaging, but you put this in the bag or if you find something like this, you probably can find something like this in Home Depot white collar. You're just gonna put put it in the bag and raise the products that are in the back and then put one in the front. 
so you can use two rows so I have three of those I have a lot of this pot gel so I just put them in here so I can like grab them and go and this is my little Christmas tree for now I don't have a lot of Christmas decoration in this room this year I'm just gonna keep it as simple as it is and this is same shelf that I just added yesterday so I'm gonna when I buy more colors and stuff I'm gonna add two more to match on this side so I'm gonna have three here I'm gonna have three here but for now I just needed one so these are all my stamping polishes and then these are my swatches so I wanted to put it close to myself so I can grab I have all kinds of shades in here to put it separately um, I thought I also have to buy some more containers to my to do my glitters so I was using it in this this way like put it in the ring and it just feels like it's so hard to find the right color and right uh, right shade so that's why I put them in separately in different shades so if, if a client need nude I would just grab all my nude and just show it to her and, or if she comes up with some kind of pictures I can kind of take a look at it and see the similar shades so this is I think I just did it yesterday so I'm gonna I'll see how it works on this side is my the nail studio area this is my desk where I do nails so I have my chair I have I mounted a TV there for the client so they can watch TV I do put some music on sometimes so just you know to give them more something to do while I'm doing their nail and I have a container I mean a drawer from Ikea I forgot how they call it but I'm gonna put them in the des description box below this is also storage um, drawers so I just emptied some of them out because it, all the colors were here so I put them out I have more containers more drawer to grow um, in it so I have a bunch of tips in here all kinds of tip I don't use tip but I use them to practice sometimes I have all my light elegance colors are here so these are hard gels and I am transitioning into soft gel Japanese gel um, biosculpture gel so these gels they don't really stay on soft gel so I'm just keeping them here I will have to go through them I'm gonna create some designs with them so that's why they are inside and I have a bunch of my art gel so I need to get some kind of container to put them um, stable because it's just moves around a lot so these are all my art gels so I have some pastel black and white some spider gels and all that so this is my art gel drawer and here I have all bunch of acrylic so I don't do acrylic anymore I just keep them because I might do some 3d sometimes and I do have some dip powders too because I tr I wanted to do it before and I tried I didn't like it but I found that they do really nice sugaring um, technique so when you do some kind of snowflake or any kind of sugaring technique um, they are very fine and it, it just comes out so nice it's almost better than using just acrylic so if like for example this one have gold glitter in it so it comes out really really pretty so that's why I always keep them here on here I have all kinds of tip to do designs so they're not tip that you can use on client they're just like this kind of shaped already shaped um, tips just to practice just to create some design like this one so I'm collecting some arts and designs to be able to show to my clients so the tips are like that tips are like that it's already shaped and it's really easy to work with so that's where I use all my practicing I mean designing tips and the bottom here are honestly just whatever storage everything this is just extra things and some chargers and stuff so I don't really use bottom three 
On this side, I have this cart. So I got this cart from Michaels. Um, it is really useful. Only thing is in the carpet, it doesn't move as well as on the, on the floor, but I don't really need to move them. So it, this just stays here. So I here I have all kinds of my brushes. So these are my like brush that I go for every single time. Um, each one have different. So for example, art brushes, hard gel brushes, clear brushes, and soft gel clear brushes, color brushes, and some tools I might need, and my acrylic 3D brushes. So this way I can find where it is and I can put it back easily. And I have a bunch of different type of cleanser, acetone, lotion, and my brush to dust off. And this is my clear gel extender mat. I get I have extra one here just from Daiso when I need it really quick and a big paper towel for sure. And down here I have also a lot of stuff. So this is the bias sculpture that I'm um, using. This is my Japanese gel and this is the Apre gel extension. So these three are my mostly used products. I am, as I said, I'm trying to stop using hard gel and to go um, to soft gel. So that's why they are here for me to access easily. And here I have a bunch of tools, so like scissors, um, this kind of tool, it, these are not necessarily used on clients. These are just like, this This is what I use for scooping things or mixing gels. So, all bunch of tools here. And here I have some foil if I need them. I need to refill it. And I have all, type, all kinds of different type of cuticle oils depending on what kind of cuticle condition they have. And this is something that you use if you cut the client just in case to stop their um, bleeding. And this is my vitamin dose for the nail. And of course have some Q-tips, cotton, um, lint-free wipes and stuff. And um, back there I have my large stamping plate, small stamping plate. This, These two are my foils. And down here I have two different length and shape of Apre extension and this is something that I use when I hand paint and then this is DIY made by my husband holder for Apre gel. I will show you guys wh what it is later but it's something I had to make it because they don't sell anything like that and this is my disinfectant wipe. I use this to wipe out wipe down all the table right after client every light every single thing needs to be wiped with this so th this is the table is looking like this is my working station I have this lamp to do my IBX treatment because IBX treatment requires a certain temperature to heat the nail so I use this lamp on that side is LED lamp to use it just generally to do my job so I can be able to see. And right here I have my e-file. This is just in this container because when I use it, um, the e-file, this thing moves around a lot so it's kind of a little annoying so I put it in this container so it doesn't move. And I have all kinds of my bits in here. This is all my favorite bits that I use. And of course, I have the armrest. This is something that I found on Amazon and I absolutely love it. The height is the perfect, it's really perfect. And because it's so wide, it's so comfortable for clients. And I just stick it to my table. I mean, like I use double, double sided tape to just stick it to my table so it doesn't move around. And this is just for the client to put their bracelet rings whatever they need to be and this like this little area they can put their drinks and stuff so that's that and on the bottom of this drawer this is the same drawer as that one but it's just short so on the first drawer I have all kinds of my glitters Okay, so these are all kinds of glitters that I have. 
um, my rhinestones are container I got this container from Amazon as well so they are all in here rhinestones and some kind of studs and stuff this is just another one um, these are not crystals they are fake plastic ones but I, I got them when I started doing nails and I didn't want to throw them away just in case if I need them for some kind of design and I have some glitters here I have a bunch of like larger glitters and also like newer glitters that I just got and here you can see there are some milers, stars, all kinds of different glitters and down here there's some fine glitters so I just recently did this organization it's working for me really well bottom here same bunch of shells glitters and my chromes foils and this container I have like bunch of all the glitters too different shapes dried flowers and a whole bunch of little things that I haven't even used so I'm gonna have to like really think remember that I have this one and these are also something new that that I just got bunch of studs some pigments sugaring powder here are some stickers uh, this is the dry, uh, the, like the fruit, fruit thingy, fruit slices, and some stickers, and have a bunch of chromes back here. Okay, in here I have the basics, all all kinds of base for like, for example, if you use Madame Clam collar, I have Madame Clam base top, um, matte top coat too. And I also have a bunch of different matte top coats just to try out. And I have some primers here. Now these are my hard gels that I use. I absolutely love hard gel. But um, I just wanted to try different products and see how it goes and if I like it or not. So that's why I am not really using hard gels. But I'm absolutely going, going to finish this product. In the back, they're just extras. So, something that I don't want to throw them away, but <laughs> something that I don't use often. So, that's that. In here, I have also all kinds of stuff here. My stamping stuff, my stamping, all kinds of tools that I need to stamp. Some forms I have here. Back there, I have a bunch of brushes. I love collecting brushes, so I have like so many brushes there. I have more brush in here. These are all little double-sided uh, tapes that I use to stick my tips into the tip holder. Little containers. Here, also little containers. My palette. And here, all the tip holders kind of things that I recently purchased. They're so messy. This is also something that I use to draw my hand painted art too. So that's that. Also, the, I use this to as my palette as well. They're just candle holder. And on the bottom, there's just extra drawer. I usually dump my new products here and wait until to show it to you guys. So it just stays here okay, so on this side this is just a waiting area this chair is not as big I'm not gonna have anybody's waiting here unless they might come with their friend um, because of COVID I'm just limiting it into one person maybe two person and that's that's why this is here that's it for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of my nail studio. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye!